new law. Of hundreds of bills that make it past the legislative hurdles to become law, there are a few that the governor does not sign off on. Governor Doug Burgum has vetoed three bills so far this session, but just one had enough lawmaker support to override that veto. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more on the rarely used measure that state lawmakers took yesterday to check the power of the governor. Representative Jeff Hoverson says he was surprised to see his anti-mask bill had the votes to overcome the veto. Pleasant shock. <laughs> the bill banned statewide elected officials and the state health officer from enacting mask mandates, but allows localities to make their own requirements. It gained traction over the course of the session with demonstrations at the Capitol and crowds showing up to the chamber for votes. It was an incredible journey. It was like the roughest but yet the most fantastic one politically for me. Hoverson says his views on the mandate are driven by personal freedom. Basic Republican 101 individual liberty and I think that you know people had too much liberty taken from them this past year. Governor Burgum said in his veto message that the bill takes away an important measure in managing a public health crisis. Those at the health department say the same. If we do see surges in, in disease, I think it's going to be important that we have all the tools available to us that we can use, and that includes masking. Though the virus has spread in the state has slowed significantly since last November, cases have crept up the past few weeks and new variants are spreading. The United Kingdom variant, the B117 variant, is about 50% more infectious than the virus that first emerged. And uh, uh, the California variants, um, the B1427 and the B1429, uh, are about 20% more infectious. Democratic Representative Gretchen Dobrovich voted against the bill, and she says the state isn't out of the clear yet, and taking away the ability for a mandate could be risky. Without that mask mandate in place, it really put, it, it, the message to us is we're out of this, it's over, um, and, we're, and we're really not there yet. The bill received a 66 to 27 vote in the House and 32 to 15 in the Senate. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. The legislature finished up day 73 of the session. They have up to 80 days to wrap up and plan to save a few to meet later in the summer. And now to our COVID-19 